Hey guys, it's Food Nation G. I'm with my buddy Wally. Before we get the show started, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Drop an emoji in the comments. It all helps. Welcome to Food Nation. Welcome back. We are in the lovely, lovely San Francisco. Yeah, man, what they got out here, man? Trolleys, man, bridges, the water. Bob Saget <laughs> from Full House. Yeah, you gotta be a tech billionaire to live I'm out here. I sleep in somebody's like shoebox or something, <laughs> I'm saying. We couldn't come to the Bay Area and not cross over to Frisco. They would have been hella mad. We got a message from a local and they recommended one of their favorites. Radio Africa and Kitchen. Yo, real talk, what type of season? You know what type of season that is? I'm just gonna say. I think it's magic. Sweat of unicorn. It's like a hodgepodge of like all these African. Yeah. Eastern, Northern African. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So fresh and so tender. You could tell he took his time. Chicken jambalaya. I met this girl, her name was Jambalaya. Jambalaya Jones. She used to wrestle. That's my dish right there. That's the one. Let's give a big Food Nation welcome to Chef Iskander Asij, whose fresh flavors and vibes are inspired by life and spirit. His zeal and determination is the reason Radio Africa and Kitchen was one of the first pop-up restaurants in the Bayview neighborhood to go brick and mortar. The first seven years I was a pop-up in uh, San Francisco. If you wanted to do something, you don't have to wait for the money, for the location, I think, do it. Do it. Pop up and do it. Yeah. Don't talk about it, you know, whether it's art or some kind of craftsmanship. Right. It's really not necessary to have the, the, the packaging or the building. Let's keep it bang. Yay! Niners, what's happening? Niners was good. You ready? I'm ready. Starving. Let's bro. bounce. Let's get this. Where's your coffee from? Ethiopia. Mm. I roast it myself. Really? really? Yeah. You ready to get this going? <laughs> I'm already going right here with That's the right. baklava. We're in the beautiful Radio Africa and Kitchen with our brother Skinder. So some of the guests were asking me, what is your most fond memories, like you know, growing up in Ethiopia, you know, living in Sudan and all that stuff like that. One of the best things I remember still now is like as kids when we used to get together, listening shortwave radios, uh, either African music or um, uh, African match or World Cup. Doing that, we'll be sharing like some snacks such as roasted garbanzo beans or uh, barley or anything like that. And we would be sort of like comparing, oh, your mom made the best, you know, that kind of stuff. What made you choose San Francisco? What, mm -hmm. How'd you land here? A uh, long story short, I was a refugee, uh, uh, walked out of Ethiopia to Sudan, my brother and I and uh, we arrived in New York and wow. uh, lived there for a few months and moved to San Francisco yeah. due to weather and then also I had a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> At the time she was the main reason, yeah. right? The first seven years I was a pop-up in uh, San Francisco. If you wanted to do something, you don't have to wait for the money, for the location, I think, do it. do it, pop up and do it. Yeah. Don't talk about it, you know, whether it's art or some kind of craftsmanship. Right. It's really not necessary to have the, the, the packaging or the building. There's, there's such a unique style, there's such a unique feel, mm -hmm. and I think what you mentioned about connecting with, with those who come into your restaurant, right, having that experience. Um, it's a vibe. Yeah, yeah, how did that come about? Coming to the Bay Area in California, uh, all these fancy restaurants were just uh, Eurocentric, European-centric, you yeah. know. Um, I realized in San Francisco there wasn't really a, an upper scale, not cost-wise, but just quality-wise. Yeah. There wasn't there. From working those top-notch restaurants, I also, you know, extensively traveled through, you know, uh, Europe a bunch of times. You know, France, Italy, uh, Spain, uh, Turkey, uh, North Africa, like uh, uh, you know, Egypt and uh, Morocco. So what I'm getting is just there's a whole lot of potential to bring those together in our own way, like, you know, the African diaspora, like, you know, I'm from Africa, but then, uh, you know, that was there, and then that was also Zen. So how do we bring all those, you know, memories and, you know, uh, good food at this place at this time? So your, your menu evolves seasonally, Absolutely. and then you, you switch out Absolutely. the ingredients, get the fresh ingredients. We get excited when the new season comes. Oh, you know, yeah. like right now it's summer, like, you know, you got all the stone fruits, peaches, you know, the apricots, you know, and then we have heirloom tomatoes and all kinds of greens. Yeah. The fall comes and you have, you know, the squash, the chestnuts. So we're always trying to yeah, uh, get flow. all those because right. that's how we grow up. And, you know, honestly, sometimes, you know, an hour, culture, the black culture has sort of drifted away from what it used to be, you know, like wholesome food, you know, um, we were always in a rush and, you know, you know, chips and stuff like, like that. I, yeah. <laughs> so that, to me, it's kind of like, you know, we were robbed. So we're trying to bring it back, you know, hey, 
we're gonna sit down, eat, think, look in their eyes, and yeah. think about the food and that's just it. you know it's not just like a fuel you sucking it in yeah, but it's yeah, just like exactly. you know so we talk about organic uh, movement and healthy food part of the problem before was was too expensive so what we did in here was we lowered the price you're getting like top-notch lamb stuff, you yeah. know the, the the tenderloin or the chicken for the chicken jambalaya wild salmon with the quinoa saffron prawns like a nice fresh prawns with couscous all oh, those man, stuff hungry, and <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we will be cooking that's an amazing vision yeah, i really love is. it yeah you know something about the bay area that breeds like innovation in yeah. a in a sense of community as well yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. Awesome. radio african kitchen i love this place it's beautiful yeah, absolutely. absolutely, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great thank to have you, you here. Yes, and let's eat. Thank you. <laughs> so roasted beets, heirloom tomato, goat cheese, and arugula. Nice. An organic ginger carrot soup. Wow. Ginger and spices. Ginger, ginger carrot. Carrot soup. It smells delicious. Tastes delicious. That's really good. It's like the sweetness of the carrot. Then you have the nice ginger taste. Yeah. Has a little olive oil on top. I, I want to ask what type of seasoning there is on top of it. I want to say it's almost like a maybe cinnamon or, or cumin. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wow. Is that like thyme? I don't know. Y'all know what thyme is. is. Let's try some of this roasted beef. Try a little discipline. Let's see this beef. Arugula with the roasted beets. Arugula. Feta cheese. Heirloom tomatoes. Some of these vegetables. Um, he grows himself. It's all seasonal, man. So it's colors. fresh. Mm, excellent, man. You know, I just started liking beets. This dude just started eating vegetables. I don't think you can get this anywhere as far as the quality and the freshness <laughs> of food for this so price. So fresh. You nah, need food like this in it's our rare. It's super rare. Grown in like a Narnia or something like that. Like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta read one of those books and then you have access to the garden. Yo, real talk, what type of season? Do you know what type of season that is? I'm just gonna say. I think it's magic. Sweat of unicorn. Right. Let's make space, yeah. All right. That looks excellent. What, what seasoning was on or in the uh, carrot soup? Ginger, cumin, coriander. Cumin, that's what, that's what I was And a little bit of cinnamon, yeah. chili flakes, olive oil. This is a vegetarian dish. Uh, basically, we have uh, a saffron rice over here. Nice. Green lentils with the ginger, shallot, and garlic. And then uh, that's the uh, steamed purple potatoes, white beans with uh, roasted yam and squash. Mm. Nice. Nice. Thank you, thank you. I love lentils, man. That's probably one of my favorite vegetables. Yeah, would, it, would it, a bean be considered a vegetable? It is a vegetable, right? No, it's a or is it a le grain? legume. Is that what they call them? White beans, squash. Let's try that. A little rice. Fire, bro. This is excellent, man. A lot of love, a lot of soul. It's like a tomato base. It's kind of kind of spicy. It has a little spice to it. A lot of passion. I've never had a purple potato. You haven't? No, this would be my first time eating one. These are related to uh, Prince, right? These purple potatoes. That's really good. I wasn't expecting that. It's almost uh, like sweet. Amazing. Uh, gotta pace yourself. Take your time. Take your time with life. You know, enjoy your food. Good eating. Conversation. You know what I'm saying? This is what life is about. Right, the next course is gonna be the saffron prawns with harissa and couscous and the wild salmon with quinoa and a mixed vegetable on the job. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, let me get down on this. Hey, you get down on that. Couscous. 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 Yo, that salmon look amazing, bro. Food so nice, they had to name it twice. <laughs> So fresh, it's so tender. He takes the community out to the river. You can tell he took his time to, to hunt with this uh, for the fish. Or it just flows. It, it goes, right? I think everything, it just flows. It goes together. Yeah. You got the, the cauliflower. I'll try a prawn. You never had never one? Never had one. In your life. Cut a little piece, like the front. It's not bad. This is man. always like the texture, always. Really? Yeah, it's, it tastes and, good, you man. Know, I don't like shellfish. I like salmon. Oh, we got some more food, bro. Yeah, I know. It gets better and better. It gets better and better, man. This is like levels to this, man. There's levels to it. Poultry dish, which is the chicken jambalaya. With chicken rice jambalaya. And, and then you have a Ethiopian style 
lamb, keeps of leg of lamb, yes. started with olive oil, Burberry, and couscous. Enjoy? Yes, sir. Thank you. I am chops on the plate, you dig? Let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh, that's dangerous. Let's that around. Chicken jambalaya. I met this girl, her name was Jambalaya. Jambalaya Jones. She used to wrestle. <laughs> I feel so healthy. I feel energized. Yeah, healthy. I gotta clear my, my plate real quick. Try some out. That's my dish right there. That's the one. Got a kick to it, nice and spicy. Smothered in the spices of Northeast Africa. I love it. In truth, I, I really wish there were more restaurants like this in our, our neighborhood. It's clean eating, man, but at an affordable price. Or it's That's, cheaper yeah, I know. to eat, you know what I'm saying? To eat garbage, pretty much, but. Y'all gotta bring the prices down when you come to the, to the this you is know what quality, I'm saying? When y'all come to the town. This is quality food. All I know is. Oh, the chicken is super tender. Mm -hmm. Super juicy. I think the chicken was alive when we got here. Like he put the chicken to sleep. He earned his trust. Him. Let him watch TV. He's been living with it for like six years. Yeah. He go to sleep early. So yeah. He, Bought him video he games. He get fatigued. He take care of that chicken. The chicken was loved. Let's try some of this lamb. That lamb is excellent. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh, man. And you, you you get tremendous variety, right? For people who are vegetarian, or for those who eat meat, you still eat very clean. Best of fish, chicken. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some more of this jambalaya, man, before they take it away from me. Excellent, man. Excellent. Yeah. Man, superb. See, trying to take it away from me, huh? Prison rules. <laughs> My yeah. favorite dessert, man. It's a baklava with honey, pistachio, and plum. Plum. Nice. So plum is in season. Baklava. Baklava. Look at the color in that. Uh, talk to me, San Francisco. <laughs> talk to me. Don't be jealous, y'all. Don't be jealous, because this ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Quiet as camp. This is like my fifth one since I got in here. Yeah. Like I was kind of eating them, boosting eating them out the tray the whole time. Yeah. Don't tell nobody. You see the layers? Yeah. Flaky, buttery crust. Wow. What am I doing? This, this is handheld for me. I don't Man. know what this is. The plums on deck. It's a perfect dessert, man. Beautiful. Too bad we gotta eat it. That pretty enough for you guys? Now watch it. Oh yeah, plums are in season, all right. All right. All right, let's go hop on that trolley. You ready? Box all of that up. <laughs> 